Welcome to Mortgages and More, your go-to podcast for the latest insights in the mortgage industry. Join us as we dive into expert advice, unveil actionable tips, and learn how to empower the next generation of home buyers. Get ready to elevate your knowledge and make those property dreams a reality. Let's get started. All right, we are back. <laughs> and we don't have Kyle with us in person, but we have his voice. His voice is always <laughs> with us with that power opening. So welcome back, everybody. Uh, we continue our January series on the Mortgages and More podcast. And I am super excited today to have Lindsay Mitri. Oh, my God, I did it so perfect before we recorded. <laughs> Mitri Solis. Mitri Solis. Yes. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> so, Lindsay, you and I have a, a pretty cool story on how we connected, and I mm -hmm. think it's it's clearly why I asked you to to be part of our Rethink Everything book. And thank you, by the way, for saying yes to that. Um, Pleasure. You and I met on this platform called LinkedIn, where probably a lot of people are watching this podcast right this second. Mm -hmm. um, and so it. it you don't live and breathe every day in the mortgage, real estate, finance space. Uh, nope. We we got connected probably by either one or one of us commenting on somebody's post, and and you know that turned into hey we should we should talk about what you do, what I do, et cetera. And anyway, what what I was immediately uh, drawn to is your keen uh, understanding and expertise around all things LinkedIn, but but really around personal branding and leveraging these platforms. So that's a long amateur way to introduce you to the show, but welcome. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> I actually so, remember the exact reason why I reached out to you, but I yeah, will get to that later in this episode because I think it ties let's back. Do, let's make sure we'll, we'll, we'll earmark that. That's, that's a reason to stay tuned, people. That's, like, yeah. that's a little trick in the podcast business. <laughs> so... So Lindsay, again, thank you for uh, volunteering to uh, contribute to the book. Um, we don't want to give away the chapter because we do want people to go click the uh, the button on Amazon, but just give a little glimpse into what you're covering in your chapter and what folks can expect to learn from you. Yeah, I think one of the things that's one of the things that's really important here. Um, I guess my background traditionally is totally sales, um, and so because of that, I you know um, well. I guess, should I give a little bit more of my background and how I yeah, let's do it. Okay. So my corporate uh, experience uh, was all in staffing and uh, recruiting. And I was a salesperson in that industry. And so um, I did that for about 10 years. And then fast forward to 2020, March of 2020, I was part of a female women's entrepreneurship group. And they asked, Hey, Lindsay, do you know how to use LinkedIn to you know build up your leads list and find more sales? And I'm like, yeah, I've done that for the last, you know, 10 years. It's how I book, uh, built 80% of my book of business. Um, so I was like, maybe this is a thing. Maybe I'll start teaching people how to use LinkedIn because everyone's trying to get creative and figure out what do we do now in this world of COVID. Um, and so I launched a boot camp. I started charging, you know, to for this course. It turned into um, uh, someone reaching out on Instagram and asking me to run their LinkedIn. And so it evolved yeah. to this whole LinkedIn agency. Um, but really where, where I thought, man, this is, this is something like, this is going to have some real traction is I wanted to be able to help people figure out how to use this awesome business platform to find more leads and close more sales for their online business, their real estate business, their mortgage business, you know, their massive corporate sales job, whatever it might be, this is truly the place for you. And so that's really where I got started. And as I kind of continued on this journey of now being my own boss and or not being my own boss, being my an entrepreneur and a business owner, um, I've realized over the course of that time, just how important having your own brand really is and building your personal brand. But deeper than that, why you want to be elevated as a thought leader in your industry. Yeah. And so this is the thing I love to tell people is that there are actually three numbers. I always tell people, write this down. There's three numbers that I want to share with you as to why thought leadership is tied to sales. Um, and so those numbers are 8, 75, and 50. 8, 75, and 50. Yep. Write it down, B. Yeah. Eight. So eight out of 10 buyers say that thought leadership content is what helps them determine who they want to buy from. 
now or in the future. So we'll break that down for, for like our folks here, but um, eight out of 10 buyers say that thought leadership content helps them determine who they want to buy from now or in the future. 75% of buyers say that thought leadership content helps them determine who they want to learn from, who they trust and who they want to learn from. And almost 50% of business decision makers, which FYI, most are hanging out on LinkedIn, yeah. say that thought leadership content helps them determine who they want to partner with, who they want to do business with. And so I thought, man, this is something that I'm going to hang my hat on and I want to help people with. Because if you can be elevated as a thought leader, as the go-to person in your industry or in your circle of friends or in your community, like you are the person for the thing that you do, people are going to come back to you over and over they're going to refer to you. You are going to be able to close more deals and more sales and help more people. So we talk about that in the chapter. Oh my God. That's so good. <laughs> and I'm, so I'm listening and I'm hearing that and intuitively I already believe I knew that, but I didn't know it. Right. It's like, it, so for me, and I think for uh, some of our readers, probably a lot, it's going to reinforce things that, that we are already doing, which I think mm -hmm. is, Sometimes it's as important to have reinforcement as it is to learn something new, right? Yep. yep. Uh, but for the other percentage of readers that that aren't doing those things to create, you know, to be that thought leader in their community, whether it's physical community or virtual community, mm -hmm. this is this is an important chapter. This is a, definitely a chapter you want to pay attention to. And what I'm excited about, and I kind of said this as you came on. You're coming, you're you're sharing your knowledge and your expertise, but not with a you know Uber focus on real estate finance, home mortgages, things like most of our contributors are we're all in our space. And sometimes mm -hmm. it's hard to get out of your space, but you don't have sure. that, you, you get to look at it from a completely different lens. And I think it's just a unbelievable perspective to share. Thanks. So yeah. Again, that chapter is going to be phenomenal. I can't wait to 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 learn more. Um you could have, with your experience and what you've done uh, in in your business and growing your, you know, being successful in the in the sales capacity that you described, you clearly could have written more than one chapter. You probably could have penned <laughs> your own book for that matter. What is something that, uh, and maybe it's just going a little deeper into what you already shared, but what's something that you're, you know, super passionate about that didn't really make the chapter in detail mm -hmm. that you want to share here today? It's probably really tactically how to leverage LinkedIn. Yeah. Um, because while I believe build out your personal brand, be seen as the thought leader, which also if someone's like that word is so overused, it just means you're top of mind for what you do for your ideal clients. Right. Um, but where to really build that out the best and where I think you get the most bang for your buck when it comes to time, investment and all those things, it's on LinkedIn. It's absolutely on LinkedIn. And so, you know, I would encourage people, get your profile optimized, get a content strategy in place so that you know that, you know, you know how to get on there, what to talk about all through the lens of thought leadership and your personal brand and make connections and reach out to people and engage and build relationships and build your network. I am such a believer that it is not always about what you know, but it is always about who you know. Oh my God. So true. Like, so true. If you have the relationships, if you have the network in place, you will go so much further than if you don't. There's no, there's no question, and I think there's all kinds of examples. I'm, I'm a fairly decent example of that. I've built a network on LinkedIn for Huge a lot network. of years, and uh, there's, there's never a week, there's probably never a day that I don't tap into that network of relationships for something, and it's rarely is it sales something. It's usually, I I need help finding this resource for this friend. And it's just playing that, playing that connector uh, through the platform is, is really been helpful for me and my personal brand. Yeah. Uh, how, how long have you like been engaged with LinkedIn as a platform? Well, my career in staffing started in 2012. And so okay. <clears throat> that at least, at least that long, um, but I mean, I don't think I really went all in and well, it wasn't really until my second corporate job that I really started to think and see like, okay, if I post content, I use it on the back end, right. To like meet with ideal clients yeah. and yeah. because 
the whole industry is really tough. And so you, I had to figure out creative ways to get in front of my ideal client, which were hiring managers at these big, big tech companies. Sure. So in that way, I used it, right? I learned how to build my network and have conversations um, that way. But I don't think I really learned how to change and evolve the presence that I had on LinkedIn until probably like ooh, five, six years ago, right. when it really did start to feel more of like a content, you know, space yes. than like, hi, here's my resume. Here's what I do at my corporate job. Yeah. Um, so, and, and I would tell you, this is what I tell people all the time. What I would tell you today, as far as like your content game and this and that, it's going to change in six months. It's going to mm-hmm. change in a year because it is now a content platform and they are doing what they can to evolve it, to keep up with other social and content platforms. So it's a fun ride. One, <laughs> one, la- one point that I'll, or one question I'll ask. Um, so our audience, a lot of loan officers, mm-hmm. you know, their, their focus, they have two, two target clients, right? They have typically they have a, they're targeting referral partners, real mm-hmm. estate agents, principally. Yep. A lot of them are on LinkedIn, by the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, of course, the end consumer is another target client for loan officers. And I've heard I've heard of the debate with loan officers. Well, why would I be on LinkedIn? My my target, my home buyers aren't on there. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm a home buyer. You're a home right? buyer. Right. We're all consumers, right? And so oh, yeah. I think there's a little bit of a myth that LinkedIn's not the place where home buyers are. And and maybe you can kind of Put that to bed here. I would love to. So here's what I tell people is that people are people are people. How they show up on Instagram, how they show up on LinkedIn, they still have the same problems behind their screen. They still have still have the same challenges, dreams, and desires. And honestly, to me, I'd be like, why aren't you going all in on LinkedIn? You're going to be one of the trailblazers, one of the pioneers in the space doing it because so many people are trying to figure out TikTok and Instagram, all these things. It is so noisy and so crowded there. It is really hard to get reach. LinkedIn still has some of the best organic reach, even if you had a small subset of folks following you or that you're connected to with how, you know, out the algorithm works. I love it. So I'm like, man, go all in, pour the fuel on the fire on the LinkedIn platform. Amen to that. So everybody, you're going to dig this chapter. It's going to be awesome. Um, if you're not following Lindsay, you need to follow her. She's her her her. She's going to be connected somewhere in this post wherever you're seeing it. So make sure you you connect with Lindsay. Lindsay, I appreciate you again saying yes to contribute to the book. Thank you for sharing your expertise and knowledge with us today on mortgages and more. Thanks for having me. Everybody else, we'll see you back here same time tomorrow. Later.